Hey everyone, for those of you that have been following my channel, I just wanted to make a quick video detailing my battery backup system I have here. If you've been watching my other videos, I've been detailing this Grow Watt transformer here uh, and how it's worked, how I set it up and all that good stuff. So uh, real quick, quickly, I just wanted to make a video just detailing what I did with my system. Uh, first, what I wanted to go over is basically what I have. I have two uh, 48 volt batteries that I purchased from Signature Solar. Um, these are lithium batteries and right now they are fully charged. I have them charged up. I'll go ahead and shut those off. I have those wired to a 5,000 watt grow watt inverter. Now I know there's been a little bit of controversy online stating that uh, whether or not these are safe for North American use. Um, and my advice to that is is just, you know, use them with caution. Um, dealing with electricity and I believe these things are made in China. I'm not sure if they're UL listed so uh, just make sure you make the necessary precautions before you hook these up in your house. What I plan to do is to get like a smoke detector, a Wi-Fi one uh, put up here just in case there is any kind of short out whether it be the batteries or the inverter. I'll have a smoke detector up there that'll kind of alert me on my phone if there is any kind of smoke or any fire in, in here, anything of that nature. Um, so I also have this Grow Watt um, transformer here, which basically makes this from a uh, 240 volt uh, output. It'll give you that neutral wire uh, to my fuse box here, and it'll give me um, those two legs of uh, 110 volts that I can use to power uh, individual circuits in my house. So most of everything I purchased here I got from Signature Solar. You can get the batteries. The batteries are now in stock. They were on back order. Um, the uh, inverter and the transformer, those are both in stock right now. This is a relatively new transformer. There's a couple of videos out online of that right now. I'm going to be making a video uh, having it power some lows. I'm going to be running my batteries to see exactly how long the batteries will power my refrigerator. Now I'm sure we can do some calculations quickly just to figure out, uh, get what my refrigerator consumes, what kind of output my batteries, and, and, and do the, some calculations, but I prefer real world tests. So uh, that is going to come up soon. Um, so from this uh, circuit breaker box, I believe I got this at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's relatively inexpensive. I got these fuses on Amazon and I have a extra 20 amp fuse here. It's not being utilized, but in the event I get some kind of a car, uh, um, a 240 volt for a car charger or something like that, that's going to be later on in the future if I can manage to power something like that. So when the system is on, it sends power over here to this generator transfer switch. Now I also got this at um, Lowe's. This basically is a bypass for your circuit breaker. In the event there's a power outage, you plug in a generator here and you wire these individual circuits into um, the circuit breakers in your house. Uh, you Essentially you can choose up to six circuit breakers uh, um, based off of what your generator can output and what you want to power. Um, and have the generator take over those circuits. So I chose six circuits that were, to me, necessary in the event of a power uh, power outage. So I have things like the refrigerator, the hot water heater, which is a gas hot water heater. However, it has an electric pilot light that needs to be lit, uh, so it does need electricity. I have things like the kitchen lights, the dining room lights, the living room plugs, outlets, things like that. Nothing that's too high of a load, such as my AC compressor or my washer and dryer, things like those. These are just minimal uh, outlets that are necessary in the event of a power outage. So right now, as you can see, this box is live. All these, these switches right here are down to the line position, meaning uh, power is coming from this, uh, my main circuit breaker, coming over here to the generator transfer switch, and it is getting line power and sending that power back over here to the uh, individual plugs in the house. In the event that there is a power outage, I flip the breakers on my batteries, turn on the grow watt inverter, um, turn on the transformer and the breaker that sends power back across this line over here to this transfer switch. And I just basically switch this from line power to generator power. And that will take the, this will essentially bypass the power that's coming in from the main grid 
and this will send power from my battery backup to the main circuits in the house. Now, I haven't seen anybody do this particular configuration and I'm not telling anyone that this is what they should do to power any individual circuits in their house. This, what I've done for me is, is safe. Um, this may not be the correct way or uh, up to code in any particular region. I'm not sure, I'm not an electrician. However, this is the way that, that I've done it. To me, this is safe. You don't have to do this. Um, I just wanted to show what I've done in my situation to get this to work. This is, this is how I want it to work, so this is how I wired it. Um, this 240 volt plug here is not actually powering this box here. This 240 volt is actually for my generator. I plug the generator in here, and this back feeds power all the way over here to the inverter. So once the generator is on, this inverter will start uh, two things. It will start sending power to the batteries to charge the batteries, and it will also take over the um, uh, electrical demand of the house. So I have this right now set on 15 amps to charge the batteries, which is kind of excessive given that the max power out, uh, amperage output my generator can accommodate is 15 amps. So I, in the event that there's a power outage, I would need to change that to a lower amperage to charge the batteries. That way there is some energy left over to power the outlets in my house. So generator is plugged in comes here to the inverter, powers the outlets in the house, uh, and then also uh, charges the batteries at the same time. So essentially, I'm hoping to have enough battery backup to last me throughout the night, powering the things that I need to power. And in the, in the daytime, I can fire up the generator, uh, power the things in the house that are running off the circuits that I've chose, as well as charge the batteries. And at night, cut the generator off and just run off strictly battery power. Solar is in the works. I hope to have some panels running this summer. I haven't uh, chose the panels that I want um, and kind of figured out the um, wattage and the amperage that I want to go with right now. I'm probably not going to max out this system as far as uh, wattage wise. I'm probably going to go a little bit under because I'm doing a ground mount system and I just don't really want to have, uh, you know, 10, 12 panels uh, taking up my entire backyard right now. So I'll probably go with something around four or five panels, 1,500, 1,600 watts, something like that. Just kind of powering um, small things like my refrigerator, maybe a couple of outlets, and just having enough power to recharge the batteries during the day and also power those uh, simple things. In the event I do end up running a 240-volt car uh, charger, um, if this uh, inverter can handle that, I'll probably either, one, get more solar panels or get an extra battery to power um, to charge up a car. So um, as of right now, everything is working the way I plan it to work. Um, I haven't done any load tests quite yet, but it is coming. I plan on uh, firing up my refrigerator and seeing exactly how long this uh, system will power my refrigerator. I'm hoping to get a couple of days out of it being optimistic, but we'll see how that goes. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, I'm not an electrician. Um, I'm not telling you guys how you should wire things, but this is just how I did it. I haven't seen anybody do this, uh, this specifically this way. Uh, most people who run this inverter, it is a complete off-grid setup, and they don't end up plugging it into their home. I live in a residential area. Um, I chose to do this because I don't want somebody upselling me on solar panels that I don't specifically need, just to backfeed power into the grid to to kind of recoup um, you know, energy, any costs that I'm selling back energy to the grid and, and getting that back. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just make my own power be able to store my own power and uh, use whatever I need. And in the event there's a power outage, I have my battery back up. It's all a standalone system that uh, I can use and, and do whatever I want with versus having a grid tied system that somebody else installs. When the power goes out, I don't have any power because it's not designed to work that way. So um, this way, everything is under my control. I can, you know, choose how many batteries I want, choose how much solar panels I want, and power exactly what I want to power whenever I need power. So, so total system cost for me right now is about $5,000. Um, I kind of used discount codes when I got the batteries and the inverter. There was some 
you know, the guys that uh, do a lot of these power things online, I use their discount codes and I got everything for kind of a good deal. So just kind of watch out for those uh, discount codes when they come out and try to uh, try to take advantage of those things. Um, I think five thousand dollars is money well spent on this system. Uh, I don't, I, I don't really care about recouping any money that I, I spend in this uh, through solar uh, generation and saving money for my energy bill. This is purely just a project for me, um, and it, and it's coming out great so far. I, I'm really happy with the way I've designed this and the way I put it together. So, again, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask me, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And again, look out for my next video. I plan on trying to uh, run some load tests on this and um, see how long I can power things in the house. And, and also I have my air handler uh, hooked up. It's one of these fuses. So in the event that the power goes out um, during the winter time, I can kind of run my heater. So I think that's going to be quite a load test for this 5,000 watt inverter. So I'm going to do that here coming up soon, so hopefully uh, I'll have enough power to be able to run my heater uh, just off the battery power alone. So, all right, guys.